Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Sin, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about the ME controller. The ME controller is the brain of an ME network. Um, without it, we can only connect up to eight devices anymore, and everything breaks down. So the ME control, ME network, just wouldn't work. Um, and I guess this would gives us the flexibility with an ME network to to really create some some large and very interesting networks. So that's what an ME controller is. How does it work? So the ME controller is a block. It does need power. So we're going to use an energy acceptor here to add power to this ME controller. The ME controller is a block by itself. That's a cube. It has six faces by default, obviously, because it's a cube. Um, but it can be part of a structure. And that structure is 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven of ME controllers. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look at just a, a line of ME controllers. This is going to be a one by seven. So by placing this block here and them all being powered, you can see that this ME controller is now functioning. It is a rainbow of flashing lights or glowing lights. And if we add an extra block here, we can see that these ME controllers have power, but they've gone red. So that means they're actually not working. So something in the structure is wrong. Something about this network is wrong. So if we remove that last block there, you can now see that we have a glowing network again. Now, the ME controller has the ability to output 32 channels per face. So if you have a single control block, that can output 32 channels per face. So that's six faces of 32 channels. Whereas when we make a 1x7, we now have the outside faces of four of those blocks plus the two ends. So we have a lot more channels from this one controller, and that's very helpful for us. Now, to connect to this ME controller, we need to make sure we connect with the right block. So if I chuck a dense cable here, which can hold 32 channels, and then chuck a smart cable, which can only hold 8 channels, we're going to see that it can only transfer 8 of those 32 channels through. But we want to transfer a few more. So if we chuck this dense smart cable here, we're going to see we can actually transfer 14 of the 32 channels. And in fact, we could transfer the 30, whole 32 if we had a system that used more than 30, or up to 32 channels. And what's important with this is that, like I said, we can connect to each different face, and each of these face connections can actually transfer 32 channels, which is really helpful for what we want to do um, in a network, because, you know, you might want to use one going to a process area, one going to some storage, one going to a server room, one going to some control faces, whatever it is, this is what you need to use. You need to use the ME controller. Now let's have a look at some of the, I guess, the limiting functionality of an ME controller, um, or some of the rules, I guess, that come with it. So we're going to hook up another ME controller to the network. Oh, well, it doesn't work. You can only have one ME controller on a network. So if we remove this ME controller here, you can now see that we have two functioning ME controllers. This one has some power from being connected before and is now functioning, whereas this one here is now being powered and it's the one we're going to work on. So the ME controller, like I said, you know, you can make a square, you will eventually make a cube um, in a 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. But what you can't do is you can't have an ME controller being touched on more than one axis twice. So what does that mean is that we have an axis, I guess, along the horizontal and we have an axis along the vertical. Now it's being, this ME controller here is being touched by two here, and then on another axis, so the second axis is being touched by another two blocks. So if we were to move one block from one of the axes, now this is a working ME controller again. So we could use all of these faces. Now, what does that mean for us in, I guess, in reality? Well, how do we actually use that? Well, if we want to use a bigger ME controller, it means we can't fill this whole side in. So we could, if we wanted to, place a whole line here, and we could place a few extra blocks like that. So here we're looking at a, a square, but we can't use every single face, but we can use a fair amount more faces than just leaving everything out. And as you can see here, by doing those, we actually created a few extra ME controllers that don't work. So how, how might we fix that? Well, we could delete those two blocks there and place another block there. So there we go. We've got an ME controller here that's working, it's powered, and we're using the most amount of faces we can. We're Sorry, we're making the most amount of faces available that we can. 
Now that's the ME controller. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. In further tutorials, I will go through a bit more detail about connecting up the ME network. But for now, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more like this, please feel free to subscribe. But as always, have a good day. See you now.